Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're talking about turning the barrel rearward. And how exactly do you do that from an upper body mechanics perspective? I've been asked by a lot of people to kind of go in depth with it, talk a little bit more about it. And so we're gonna do that today. I've made a lot of other videos in the past about this. And so I don't wanna get super in depth into exactly why, because many of you that have seen our videos probably already know, but I'll hit on a couple things really, really quickly. The biggest thing is I'm trying to get my barrel turned up into the ball so i hit the ball while my barrel is turning up into it right the pitcher is throwing from an elevated mound overhand to a catcher that's squatted so the ball's traveling down through the hitting zone okay and so if i want to be able to square that ball up i've got a round bat with a round ball i want to be able to impact that on the same path so the ball's coming slightly down i want my barrel to turn up and hit it slightly up, I'm gonna be able to square those two objects up together more often than not. And when I do square the ball up, I'm gonna be able to drive the ball with good ball flight. So again, ball's coming slightly down, I'm swinging slightly up. I'm gonna be able to hit the ball in a, on a line with a little bit of carry, so I'm gonna get more base hits and I'm gonna be able to slug the ball more. I'm gonna be, hit more, be able to hit more doubles and home runs as I get older, right? So it's really, really important. I wanna be able to get the barrel behind the ball. Um, the other thing is, it allows me, when I turn the barrel rearward, it allows me to have really good direction. So basically, my barrel is gonna be working through the hitting area. I'm not gonna be cutting across this way. A lot of times when players swing down, they'll also swing across, and so your barrel's not staying in the hitting zone, you're pulling a lot of balls, you're hooking a lot of balls, and so you're not really able to drive the ball to all fields especially the opposite field, right? If you're cutting across the ball, hitting a lot of ground balls to your pull side and a lot of pop-ups to the opposite field side, right? And so if I'm able to turn the barrel rearward and start to get the barrel to work back and down this way so it can work up through the ball, well, not only will I be on path with it slightly up, but I'll have really good direction. I'll be able to drive the ball to the opposite field and I'll also be able to pull the ball. I'll be able to attack the ball from the inside out, right? You hear all the time talking about staying inside the ball. If I turn the barrel deep, I'll be able to attack it from the inside out and I'm able to cover all pitches and drive the ball to all fields. Okay, so that's just a really, really quick refresh um, if you haven't seen some of our other videos. Now let's talk about exactly how do you do that from an upper body perspective, okay? So a couple things. First thing is, when I'm about to turn my lower body and I'm about to hit, my upper body can't go with my lower body. So when my leg starts to turn, I can't have my upper body turn also and just rotate. I can't, if I'm a righty, I can't have my left shoulder just turning out to the left. If I do that, then typically my hands are gonna get out away from me and they're gonna cut across the zone, okay? The other thing I can't do is I can't go forward because you can see when I go forward and I, my upper body wants to go this way, my hands start to push out forward like this. And so I'm not gonna get a barrel that's able to turn deep in the zone if I'm pushing forward with my upper body, okay? So I can't just turn out to the left, I can't just go forward. What I've gotta feel is I've gotta feel like I'm tilting back. So I've gotta try to get back behind the ball. So when my leg is going to turn, my upper body from here up, is going to start to tilt back this way, right? So my leg's going like this, and my upper body's not pulling off the ball, not going forward, it's starting to go back. So I'm able to start to work things back this way, okay? So that's the first thing. And if you go and watch, watch ma most major league guys, not a lot of people talk about this, but I think it's super, super important. When I watch a lot of major league guys, again, you don't see to the left or forward, you see them starting to work back as they're starting to turn their lower half. All right, so that's number one. Number two is, not only do I wanna get my upper body working back, but now again, we've gotta get the barrel to work back. And so, what I wanna do is I wanna feel like I'm trying to turn palm up, palm down. Now, you've heard a lot at contact, you should be in a palm up, palm down position, right? And so, if I wanna get the barrel to start to work back, then I wanna feel that palm up, palm down position 
happening back here. All right, so I don't want to push the knob to the ball, right? I don't want to make this move because if I make this move, then my hands are going really fast, but my barrel is not traveling fast at all, and I'm pushing it forward. So if you're someone that pushes forward, you're probably going to swing down through the ball, right? It's gonna be really hard to turn my barrel up into the ball if I'm making this move. Because this barrel is oftentimes gonna follow the knob, almost pretty much always. The barrel follows the knob. So I push my knob forward like this, and now what's my barrel gonna do? It's gonna go like that down and through the ball, right? If I feel like as I start to tilt, I start to turn my hands, palm up, palm down, I start to turn the barrel back. See, as I start to turn my hands palm up, palm down, as my knob starts to kind of go up here, my barrel starts to go back like this, right? And so it continues to go, my leg continues to turn, and now the barrel is gonna work back and down, and then boom, it's gonna turn up into the ball. When I do that, I'm able to get that depth that we were talking about, I'm able to get my barrel to go back. And my barrel will start picking up speed really fast that way. Again, when I go, when I get really armsy and pushy this way, the barrel's not going very fast. It looks like I'm trying hard, but this really isn't doing anything. And if I just get my barrel working back, right, so I get ready, and then as I start to go, I start to turn everything this way, my barrel starts to work like this. And now it's able to, again, get in the zone early, get behind the ball, start to turn up behind the ball early, but also gets to work from the inside, okay? So those are two really, really important things. Another way you can think about it is that when you get ready to hit, now I've had coaches throughout my career call this different things. I've had coaches, some coaches call this the box right here. They talked about getting the box turned. I've had coaches call it a circle. I've had coaches call it a triangle. I don't really care what shape you call it, but what I want you to think about is getting, if you think about your chest and both arms here, when I start to make this move where I'm going to start to get palm up, palm down, and I'm going to start to tilt back, this has to turn. So as I make this, my rear arm starts to work under and my lead arm starts to work up and I'm turning it. I'm not pushing it forward. A lot of times what you see, if you look at that shape again, you'll see this right here. And, the, and that triangle, box, circle, whatever shape you wanna call it, doesn't turn. And then the player swings down like this, right? And they cut across and they swing down. See the difference from pushing forward, no turn, lead arm is down, I swing down. I start to turn back and tilt back. Now my lead arm starts to work up. My rear arm starts to work under. My knob is getting turned up. And now I'm able to turn the barrel and get it turned up into the ball. So now I hit the ball on a slight up and not on a down. And again, if you look at, not only if you just look at video, but if you just look at the data from major league guys, Really good hitters, hitters, successful hitters are gonna hit the ball on an up, right? And so if I wanna hit the ball on an up, I've gotta be able to get the barrel turned back so I can get it turned up into the ball, right? I start to go forward, I'm never gonna be able to get the barrel turned up in time. So I wanna feel that deep turn as I'm tilting back and then I'll be able to get behind the ball up through the ball. And the one thing, this is where people get confused sometimes, is when you hear people that don't believe that you swing slightly up through the ball, when you start talking about turning the barrel up, what a lot of people think is, or a lot of kids that try to do this, they try to swing up through the ball using their arms. <sighs> they make this move right here, okay? And so it's not an arms move where I'm trying to work up through the ball. If you do that, you're gonna have a long, slow swing, okay? So it's not this where I'm trying to swing up on, through the ball. If I just feel my hands turning quick, my swing is short. It's from the inside and it's short, but it's still up through the ball. It's not long and loopy and armsy, okay? There's a total difference with that. And so sometimes players say, well, you know, players are trying to do it and they say, well, I just can't swing slightly up through the ball. Yeah, but you, 
<laughs> nobody can do that, right? Like this is not swinging up through the ball, okay? I've got to be able to turn the barrel up into the ball quick, all right? So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, share with all your friends, all that good stuff.